minutes to the chairman of the subcommittee on readiness, the gentleman from South Carolina, Mr. Wilson. The gentleman is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you, Chairman Mac Thornberry, for your leadership, the extraordinary controversy that should be addressed of the widow's tax has been solved with your leadership and will be so meaningful to military families. I am grateful to support H.R. 2810, the National Defense Authorization Act for fiscal year 2018. Throughout this past year, as chairman of the Readiness Subcommittee, we heard testimony from each of the Joint Chiefs about the critical necessity to address the military's alarming readiness shortfalls across all domains, air, land, sea, cyber, and space. Sadly, the Recent tragic deaths of 17 sailors and two avoidable collisions in the Indo-Pacific region provided unmistakable evidence that readiness has fallen to a dangerous level. We can no longer delay the maintenance and sustainment problems that plague the military, and we can no longer defer critical training and modernization that directly impacts the ability to respond rapidly to emerging threats worldwide. There are numerous important readiness provisions in the bill. I also appreciate my friend, colleague, and readiness subcommittee ranking member, Congresswoman Madeleine Bardayo of Guam, for her tireless efforts and participation in this process. The creation of the NDAA was truly bipartisan and represents real emphasis for readiness recovery efforts and the enhanced defense of our nation to promote peace through strength, protecting American families. As we recognize, freedom is not free. I strongly support the NDAA for fiscal year 2018 and encourage my colleagues in the House to support as well. I yield back.